Hey everybody, it's Leah Rupel here from Straight Up Coaching and this is an episode of Mind Body Movies where I want to talk about milk and I want to talk about why we shouldn't be having cow's milk. Now, this is my own opinion, but it was backed by Dr. Mark Hyman, who I posted today on Facebook, a really great article about how bizarre it is that we in our adult lives drink milk and from another animal. There is no other animal that does that. So if you're wondering why we have an epidemic of obesity and heart disease and allergies and IBS and all of this other stuff that's going on, Milk is a big reason for that, for the regular milk drinkers. Now, I'm speaking to of just my clientele that I've been noticing and in certain cultures, this is normal. They have like a couple of glasses of milk a day and 99% of the time, they have weight that they wanna lose and they're not feeling that great or it fills them up. Or, so who knows, milk isn't necessarily the same product as it was 20, 30 years ago either because we're mass producing so many things. And not only that, but you have to think about the antibiotics and the medications and everything that's in milk. And not to overwhelm you, the idea is to, to be informed and to make better decisions. And that's really what these Mind Body movies are about, are little snippets about making you curious, helping you to make better choices, or at least to Google or reference something to make a choice for yourself to uplevel your game and your health. And, and, and really, it's about being happy, healthy, and fit. Now, for me, just to give you an example, we have almond milk in the house. Does that mean I never had milk? No, I grew up on milk. Chocolate milk has like 30 grams of sugar in it for a cup, which is unbelievable. Like I very rarely will buy it uh, for my son because, because of that reason. It's just one, it's milk, and two, it's just super high in sugar. Uh, it's, I think it's even more than a pop, if I can remember correctly. But the other side of that is when people say, well, what am I going to drink instead? Well, they want to put it on their cereal. Well, the next thing I would say was, well, why, why would you have cereal? It's boxed, right? It's processed. It's not good for you. It's high in sugar. There's like no fiber in it. There's hardly any protein. And milk, yeah, it has fat in it. And yes, it has protein in it. But you know what? There's way better sources out there. And people always ask too, well, what am I going to, what am I going to put on my cereal? So almond milk, rice milk, coconut milk, some of you like lattes. Well, there's places like Starbucks, for example, that will do almond milk and coconut milk, not at all the locations, but there is an option. The option is to also have tea <laughs> or Americanos, which is super low in calories and less caffeine as well. So there's an option for you. And as far as cereals go, if you want to have a cereal, how about something like Red River or Sunny Boy, a hot cereal that is like 8 to 10 grams of fiber per serving, and it's got protein in it. You can even add nuts to it. You can add more protein and calcium and things like that to a, a really good whole grain cereal, and then add, add your favorite beverage to that so that you still feel like you're getting cereal. And then the other thing that I would suggest is making sure that it – all the other dairy sort of things like cheese and you just want to minimize those. I'm not going to say don't eat it. I just, I think that it's important to moderate some of those other things that you might eat. Having cheese every day isn't necessarily the best for you because of the content of fat. And so, especially if you have weight to lose, stay away from those dairy products and wheat and corn, but that's a whole other mind movie. And if you're going to have cheese, Maybe a goat cheese, something light, you can sprinkle it. I love goat cheese, I can put it on anything, but you don't need a lot of it. Maybe a little bit of blue cheese if you wanna do something like that. These don't require a whole lot of extra processing. And again, goat is another option, it's another animal, but it's done in a different way. It's not as processed as milk would be. So those are some examples. You can always get unpasteurized, raw, all of those things. Take the time to make better choices and once you're informed, you can do better for yourself. So in the meantime, switch your milk, come up with something else. Let me know what you think. Talk to you soon. Mind Body Movies, it's Leah Rupel.